have you heard of Kwachi Ariesu? <laughs> and have you heard of Adunle or Kri Kri? Hey, okay. So today we're going to do some local Ghana snack. You know, the snack, yeah. Now here is you, as you are done chewing, all your sleep will go away. By the time you are done chewing, you just drink water, you will so full. Now, <laughs> this is what we're going to do today. And you just need some corn. Now, I like the yellow corn. It gives me a bit of color. But I can use the white corn. And yes, so I always say wash your grains, wash your cereals. It's very necessary. Take away the chaff, take away the dirt. And then you pre-soak it for like six hours or overnight. Yes, you just want to do it short. You don't want to overly soak it because you, don't, you just want it to soften a bit. You don't want to let it ferment. And usually, um, around where I come from, you do this when there's fresh corn because the fresh corn is always sweeter. Now, after a day, it's going to be a bit smoother. Then you can have it milk. So when you milk, it's going to be very smooth, very powdery, and then we can proceed. Now, you could do two things with your corn. Yes, and sometimes, uh, I think for around here, when you want it very hard, there's like the adunli, what is done is... Instead of pre-soaking, you could just use it dry like that. You just mill it into powder, then you use it. So that gives you very, very dry. Um, Kachiyari Zu or your Adunle. Yes. So don't be confused. They are two different things. But then they're going to go in there. So for red, either either of them, whether you're going to do Adunle or Kachiyari Zu, you need your sugar. You need a bit of milk to make it sweeter. And you need your nutmeg or cinnamon, which is going to add to the fragrance in there. So I begin off by mixing all my dry ingredients together. This is a very simple thing. You could just do it even with just the, how do you call it? The flour and sugar and salt. And that's what most of those who sell it do. But then when you add in the milk, Charlie, it tastes nicer. It takes um you know better and you know i'm always talking about you eating healthy so yeah you've got to eat right for me mm -hmm. it's very very necessary so once that goes in there you'd want to mix your mixture for a flatter yes for your binder in this recipe the same corn we're going to use a bit for your binder so what you do is usually if your binder is too small, you're going to have problems binding the whole mixture together. If your binder is too much, it's going to be mushy and um, another way. So for me, one thing I've come to learn over the years is that when you get your flour, what you could do is you could divide your flour into three or four worst case and use one part of it. For your binder and then use your two parts to, to mix it up now what you could even do is you could have one part somewhere just in case for backup so if your flat is too small you could just do a new one if it's too much you could just add it in as a dry one so to do the binder you just need to add in a bit of water because i was using the rock salt i just added it in here then it went on fire to cook now if you're using smooth salt you could just mix it into the sugar now i'm not make milk stuff in there yes personally i like the sea salt the rock sea salt it's a bit healthy i'm going to talk about it very soon later but then for today let's just focus on our dooley so i'm just going to mix it and for it to form we're not cooking it into banku so it doesn't really need to cook 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 you just want it to form well then we just take it in there to mix and bind it you don't want to do this too smooth you don't want to do it it's nice to, I don't, you don't want to do this too tough but then one thing i've also learned is if you're using yellow corn it may take in more water to do that flatter because yellow corn it's too power uh -huh. and then if you're using the white corn your little water will just do the trick so I'm going to leave the quantities in the description button to help you, especially when you're new to it. Now, 
once it's almost done because i was in a little quantity i just put my fire off to prevent me from getting banku then i just mixed it in a bit now it's always good to not mix everything jumbled together that's that's it from the middle create your hole in there and put it in because it's going to be a bit hot when you put it in now what i'm doing is to mix it so even if it doesn't reach at least the middle parts the part where i'll get for the dough or for the mixture to bake i know i'm safer in there so if it doesn't reach i can just leave the powdery part and do another flatter mix so be careful how you mix this because it delicate something now once you've mixed everything up and you get your dough this particular dough you can use it for two things you could do the ariesu which is heavier and you use this and then you add your granite which is pre-cooked and you are going to do the adun lay with this as well for the adun lay you need to make sure that you are stretching it very well because you want it a bit dry and you could do shapes you want with it now like i was talking about the kachi ariesu or what's um others also call bam fobisi yes so that one you just need like i said the mixture you just add in your granite now that one you could go squat free if your flatter is softer and it's a lot because you want that one to be a bit softer to eat yes but for your adule or your kri kri you need to be extra careful with that one because you want that one to come out crispy and hard so you need to be careful the corn sticks yes it's in the raw food area say corn sticks <laughs> that's what i have found out so yeah you're just going to fry when you're done fry this over medium constant heat and do well to be turning it on both sides to make it cook now don't be too quick to be turning turn so you don't break your sticks once it's in allow it to fry properly see the color changing before you turn it and voila it's as simple as abc yes so the crunchy is a very healthy snack you know corn snack and it's tasty and it's great you do it at home yeah uh-huh. so <laughs> if you're a fan of it like myself you could just do it you know and um, keep it in the fridge keep it in your jar tie it tie it safe the most important thing is about how you keep it and if you do it very dried you could keep it for a longer time so it's a healthy snack which the whole family can snack on super healthy super delicious super beautiful so yeah i hope you give this local recipe a try and tell me how it goes Till then, make sure you choose some adunle this 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 week. Yes, choose some monkey tail, kulikli, kokoro, uh, corn stick. Yes, and try my kachi ariesu as well. Lots of love for my team and I. Do well to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you in the next food video. Lots of love. Mwah.